Right, good morning. Wasn't expecting to be doing this actually. Um, didn't think I'd be online or doing a video until later in the week. This is a letter from Marston. Well, they call themselves Marston Group. We know them as bailiffs, court enforcement officers, whatever. So I'm just going to read this. I'm not going to make any comments at all. Some of you slightly more savvy people than me can possibly leave comments on the page. Um, let's see what you think about it. Because obviously I complained about a bloke that came around and arrested me. Arrested me. <laughs> um, tried to. The police did, eventually, without reading me my rights. Anyway, uh, thank you for your correspondence. I'm sorry to hear you have you feel you have had cause to complain. I understand you have complained that the enforcement agent placed their foot in your door, preventing it from closing. You believe that the enforcement agent committed trespass. You believe that by declining your request to remove his foot from the door, that the enforcement agent had committed misconduct in public office. The enforcement agent refused to let you hold the warrant. You believe the warrant to be fraudulent. Um, and actually, I will say one thing on that, because the if the court order had my date of address wrong, it's more than likely the warrant did as well. So it was fraudulent in that case. Um, and you have said our custody vehicles do not have prisoner carrier insurance. In the context of the visit to your address where the enforcement agents were in possession of an arrest warrant, they are authorised to be able to enter the property and carry out an arrest. Therefore, I am unable to say there has been any unauthorised trespass in this instance. Marston Group is a limited company acting on behalf of our clients under instruction from the court. Although our clients and the court may constitute public bodies, Marston Group does not. So therefore, I am unable to agree that our enforcement agents have carried out the alleged misconduct in public office. The enforcement agent is obliged to show the information upon the warrant at the request of the subject of the warrant. How, which is funny, because he wasn't willing then to show it to me. Um, however, this does not mean that they have to give this to the person concerned, nor that the information must be held in a paper format. Um, regarding your concerns that the warrant was fraudulent, I am satisfied that the warrant was issued correctly through the appropriate procedure and constituted a valid arrest warrant on the day of the enforcement agent's attendance. Furthermore, I would like to add that any dispute surrounding the issue of issuing of the warrant constitutes a dispute between yourself and either our client or the court, and therefore this is outside of our jurisdiction, so I am unable to comment further on this. Yes, I will say one thing again quickly. Isn't it amazing how it's never anyone's fault? I'm just putting that out there. Regarding the manner in which you were taken to court on the day of the enforcement agent's attendance, our records show that this was undertaken by the police who would have been duly authorised to convey you to the appropriate court. Oh. Who were they duly authorised by? Themselves, possibly. Um, regarding the relevant insurance policy, I am unable to confirm any details regarding our insurance policy or provider other than that we obtain all required and appropriate insurance for both vehicles and public liability. Which you would know how if you can't confirm any details. Therefore, for the reasons given, I am unable to up your up your complaint. I didn't actually think I'd get a reply at all. Now their address, Marston Group, PO Box one two zero one nine Epping, CM one six nine EB. Although bizarrely, the return address is PO Box eight seven four three Bells Hill, ML four. WU. Mm. Um, so there you go. So I'm not, well, I did make a couple of observations, but I'm not going to sit here and dissect it all because it would take hours. Um, let me know what you think. <laughs>